So here we have the culprit. This one, it's all gone. Hi guys and welcome to South Africa. I am currently in Ograbis in Northern Cape quite close to Namibia and I'm just putting together a video that is showing how I changed the clutch on my CRF 250L. So this was the first time that I've ever changed the clutch on a motorcycle and I was a little bit nervous about it but I had some good help from a friend Martin who's also riding the world on his motorcycle and I was on the farm with Duncan and his staff so people could help in case I had problems. Changing a clutch is not that difficult, I have learned now. The hardest part was actually getting access to the engine cover. I have a lot of protective parts on it. This engine case cover, these protective bars sitting here, the skid plate, and all that needs to be removed in order to get access. On top of that, you need to remove the rear brake, the clutch arm here that goes into the clutch, and you need to remove this part. You also need to remove the cooler hose and we managed to put a clamp around it and pull this one off so that we were able to keep the cooler liquid. I didn't need to change that anyway so that was a pretty practical way to do it. I did want to change the oil so before we started I drained the oil. You can actually change the clutch without draining the oil. It requires that you put the bike down on the side. In that case I would have to remove all of these things uh, before because I need access from both sides to uh, remove some of these parts and then I could put the bike down on the side and then take the engine cover off and change the clutch. But in my case as I needed to change the oil anyways then it was just easy to do it with the bike standing up. So so enough with the talk, let's go back to African Overlanders and start changing that clutch. Today I'm taking on a new project. I'm gonna change my clutch. The first thing is to clean the bike because it's extremely dirty. So before we start taking the crankcase cover off and everything, I just want to get rid of some of all that dirt. Hi, team clutch is hard working. <laughs> We have now washed the bike and we just emptied the oil and then we removed the cooler hose, we removed the rear brake lever here, then we need to remove the clutch cable in order to get this whole thing out. So the status is now that we managed to get into the actual clutch. So this is how it looks and now we need to remove these five bolts and then we actually see the clutch already here. The friction plates are right there. Now we are at the, the clutch plate. So these are the friction plates and the other ones are the, what do we call the other ones? Yeah. I'm not sure. The disc. I don't the know. disc, yeah. Clutch disc. So it's what you would call a wet clutch. So everything is very oily. So here we have the culprit. This one, it's all gone. About time I put a new one in. All right. So first we put in the jotter springs and then the next thing is... Okay, and then we need the new springs. <laughs> okay, look at this. Now we have springs. We have the bolts in place. Now we just need to tighten them. And I think it was like 12 Newton. So do you have a good feeling in your hand? <laughs> Keep on turning the engine while I'm putting it in. Hello! <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Welcome to the workshop. So you must have some experience. Oh. No, <laughs> we are making experience. We removed the clutch plates, the old ones are there. Yeah. And some of them were pretty worn. So then I brought a new one from Denmark. Uh -huh. But yeah. so far so good. Mm -hmm. I must pay attention. Otherwise, yeah. we're gonna put the cover on now. But yeah, I just want to check if I'm missing something. And then we we, uh... we need the gasket now. <laughs> Yeah. Doing a bit of cleaning here. No. Now I'm gonna open the gasket. No, yeah. Easiest way to do that. Yeah. Is to get two bolts through and hang the gasket on this side. Yeah, but the problem is uh, that we that must. Uh, 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 I'll okay, right, line it up first. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah. you know, put the gasket. Yeah, yeah. But I think you lined up pretty nicely. Okay. Can I just try yeah. it? Okay. Even if you put it in now, I won't be able to push this through the gasket. I need the gasket to be lifted up a little bit. Pull it over there. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? We screwed up, right? Yeah. So basically, we forgot a thing. We um, were supposed to put this, uh, I don't know what you would call clutch. this clutch dot or something. Yeah, clutch. Uh, put clutch that in. Yeah. Ah, look at that. So we had to untighten everything again, but Martin did it in a nice way. Quick and dirty. <laughs> Hello, doggy. Hey, doggy. So, am I right that now we're going to put the oil filter in? Um, yeah. Right. Don't tell me about it. Don't tell me about aches and pains. Um, okay, we have a new oil filter. So guys, we're getting pretty close now. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay? More than okay. Okay, but I'm so strong. I don't know how to handle all my strengths, you know? Yeah, that's a problem. Alright, Martin, where are we? We are on the finish line. Yeah, we, we've done pretty good. So the crankcase cover is on. There's a new oil filter. We have the clutch cable is attached. It's very loose though, so that is worrying me a little bit. Martin doesn't agree with me. He, he thinks it's all good. But we tried out. We tried out. <laughs> and now we have the cooler hose back on. Now we're pretty ready to attach the brake again, right? Yeah, we can do it. It's yeah. easier if we put this cover here back on first because this, it has yeah, to come yeah, in yeah. under the, the yeah. brake. So let's do that. And maybe we should fill it up with oil now. Yeah. Oil. We need oil. 1.5 liter when the oil filter is changed. It has a slightly better color than the, the one that came out. Now. That was the oil. You must fire it up so that the oil. Let's do that. Okay, so we just fired up the bike a little bit just to get the oil going. And do we want to lean the bike over and just see how it looks in the little glass? Yeah, there it is. We're going to take back this cover. This is um, a cover that protects the whole engine cover. So like a really hard composite plastic material. That's the next thing that comes on. So... Knew you were gonna say it. Look at that, all shiny and new. Well, not exactly new, but shiny at least. And look at the other side. <laughs> do we want to look at the other side? I don't think so. No. So now comes the break. I think I need to do a little bit of cleaning first because everything is pretty yucky and there were a few o-rings that kind of fell off when we took it apart so I hope we can take it back in the right way. I just cleaned this whole area and then I'm putting on some new grease here. This stud here goes into that hole and then I'm gonna put a little o-ring on it now. There's an o-ring sitting in each end. I don't know if you call this an o-ring. Yeah. A little bit more grease. You know, without lubrication, nothing is fun. Okay, so now we need this baby to go in here, is that correct? And we need to just there. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna put some Loctite on. Do you wanna hold this for me? I must find the, the hole. Yeah, that's what, that's what he said. The right hole. Martin found the hole. Oh, mechanic. <laughs> I always found the right hole. <laughs> so that's the rear brake master uh, caliber, right? Yeah. Isn't that the name? Yeah, so then... All right. So just a little comment on that. This uh, black plate here is a little uh, protection for the rear cylinder in, in case I crash. And uh, the bolts here, they are a little uh, longer than the, the stock ones. And also the tools that you need for this um, are different. So my whole toolkit is put together of things that I need specifically for this bike with these uh, aftermarket parts. Yes, yeah, that is correct. Yes! <laughs> so last thing was to put this spring here. It holds the rear brake lever in the in an upper position. And then we also put this spring on and that controls the rear brake light, right? So this is like a switch for the brake light. Should we see if it works? Wait. Nope. Duncan is looking at me, skeptical. I'm not skeptical in the slightest. Never skeptical. It's, it's working. It's working? Yeah. Look at that. It's working. <laughs> ah! okay. Team Clutch is pretty we happy. Did we did it. We did it. We yeah. don't know if it's working because we haven't tested it yet. <laughs> but we think we did it. We are sure. We're confident. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Guys, I just took the bike for a ride and the clutch was perfectly good. So. New clutch! First time ever that I've uh, changed it myself and uh, it wasn't too hard actually, it was quite easy. Thank you guys for watching this video. So if you like this video and you want to see upcoming videos from me, make sure that you subscribe down below. See you on the road!